Hello everyone, my name is Seema Pankhivani. Welcome back to Seema Modules. In this video lecture, we will be recording Accounting Standard 10. The objective of AS10 is to prescribe accounting treatment for property, plant and equipment so that users of financial statements can earn, uh, can discern information about investments made by an enterprise in its property, plant and equipment and changes in such investments. So we have objective. So what is objective? Objective is objective of accounting standard 10 is to prescribe the accounting treatment. What is objective of AS10? Objective of AS10 is to prescribe list of items for property, how to treat for accounting treatment of property, plant and equipment so that the users of financial statements can discern information about investments. So users of financial statements, they can do what? They can collect information about the statements, about the investment, about investment made by the enterprise in its property, plant and equipment, PPE. This standard shall be applied in accounting for, prop, for, for property, plant and equipment, except when another standard requires or permit a different accounting treatment. So this standard shall be allowed in accounting for property, plant and equipment except when another standard requires a permit uh, uh, from a different accounting standard from, for different accounting treatment. This standard does not apply to biological asset. It does not apply to what biological asset. Uh, accounting standard 10, AS10 does not apply to DASH, does not apply to biological asset. So account, the standard does not apply to biological asset related to agricultural activity other than lower, uh, other than buying uh, plants. This standard applies to have plants, but it does not apply to produce on bearer plants. So we have uh, uh, this standard. This standard deals with what? This standard deals with uh, uh, biological asset related to agricultural activity. Then the wasting assets, including mineral rights, expenditure on exploration for and extraction of mineral oil, natural gas, and similar non-regenerative resources. However, this standard applies to property, plant, and equipment, and to develop or maintain assets described in A and B above. So we have what? We have objective. We went for objective. We went for scope. Okay, so what is objective? Accounting uh, AS10 to, is to prescribe accounting treatment for property, plant and equipment so that users of financial statements will have complete information as to how much amount is invested in property, plant and equipment. Then we have scope. The standard D shall be applied. Where, where to apply this standard? When to use this standard? So they have given us uh, where where we are required to apply and where we are not required to apply. So, for example, the standard does not apply to biological asset and wasting assets. Then we have definitions, agricultural activity. Agricultural activity is the, man, uh, is the management by an enterprise of biological information, transformation and harvest of biological asset for sale or conversion into agricultural produce or into additional biological asset. So we have agricultural activity, agricultural produce, we have bearer plant, we have biological asset, we have carrying amount, we have cost, we have depreciable amount, we have depreciation. So agricultural activity. What is agricultural activity? Agricultural activity is the management by enterprise of biological transformation and harvest of biological asset for sale or for conversion into agricultural produce or into uh, additional biological asset. So we have agricultural activity. Okay, we have agricultural activity here. So what is the definition of agricultural activity? What I am doing is I am converting my biological transformation or biological harvest into biological uh, with the help of biological asset into some produce. Okay, so basically I am converting my input into raw material, raw material, input used as raw material into output. Okay, so basically I am converting my input into output with the help of agricultural activity. Agricultural produce is the harvested product of biological asset of the enterprise 
bearer plant is the plant that is used in the production or supply of agricultural produce is expected to bear produce for more than one period more than a period of 12 months has a remote likelihood of being sold as agricultural produce except for incidental scrap sales biological asset is a living animal or plant caring amount is the amount at which an asset is recognized after deducting any accumulated depreciation and accumulated impairment losses so we have agricultural activity we have uh, agricultural produce bearer plant budgeted value so all these things are related to my definitions definitions that to be are meant for accounting standard 10 a quick read till here i'll wait then i'll go ahead then we have biological asset biological asset is nothing but a living animal or a plant caring amount caring amount is the amount at which an asset is recognized after deducting any accumulated depreciation and accumulated impairment losses then we have cost cost is the amount of cash or cash equivalents paid or the fair value of the other consideration given to acquire an asset at the time of its acquisition or construction or where applicable the amount contributed to that asset when initially recognized so we have asset we have cost cost is what it is the amount of cash cost is the amount of cash or cash equivalent paid or uh, the fair value okay amount of cash equivalent to or the fair value of other uh, consideration given to acquire an asset at the time of acquisition or construction or where applicable the amount attributed to that asset when initially recognized in accordance with specific requirement of other accounting standards so we have carrying amount we have cost we have depreciable amount so cost is nothing but a value at which the product is purchased or any asset is purchased so that is cost to me or acquisition is done or uh, construction is done or manufacturing is done that is cost to me then we have depreciable amount depreciable amount is the cost of an asset or amount substituted for cost less its residual value so cost of the asset or amount substituted as cost less residual value so that is what that is related to depreciable asset then we have next so this part is done depreciable asset then we have our favorite depreciation depreciation is the systematic allowance systematic allocation of depreciable amount of an asset over its useful life then we have enterprise specific value it is the present value of cash flows of an enterprise expect to arise from the continuing use of an asset and from its disposal at the end of its useful life or ex or expect to incur when settling a liability so we have cost we have depreciable asset we have depreciation we have these five cost four cost so you can give a read to the cost and then we'll go for next so budgeted asset done biological asset so we are going through few definitions biological asset agricultural activity agricultural produce cost depreciable asset depreciation enterprise specific value is the present value of cash flows of an enterprise expect to arise from continuing use of an asset and from its disposal at the end of its useful life or expect to incur when settling a liability then we have fair value fair value is the amount for which an asset could be exchanged between knowledgeable billing parties in the arms length transaction that is fair value gross carrying amount of an asset 
is its cost or other amount substituted for cost in the books of accounts without making any deductions for accumulated depreciation and accumulated impairment losses. So we have fair value. Fair value is the price at which organization charges. We have gross carrying amount. Gross carrying amount means uh, gross carrying amount of an activity of an asset of its cost or other amount substituted for the cost <coughs> Sorry. in the books of accounts without making any deduction for accumulated depreciation and accumulated impairment losses. So we have gross carrying amount. So gross carrying amount means what? Without making any adjustments, the uh, uh, asset which we book at the cost price, that is gross carrying amount. Uh, an impairment loss is the amount by which the carrying amount of an asset exceeds its recoverable amount. So what is impairment loss? Impairment loss is nothing but the amount by which carrying amount of an asset exceeds recoverable loss. Okay, impairment loss means carrying amount is more. So uh, against income, so that is carrying amount, that is impairment loss. Okay property plant and equipment are tangible items that are held for use in production or supply of goods or services for rental to others or for administration extended to be used expected and to be used uh, during more than one period of 12 months recoverable amount is the higher of the following so this is what property plant and equipment information related to property plant and equipment property plant and equipment then we have so we completed gross carrying amount then we have uh, impairment loss, then we have property plant and equipment are tangible items that are held for use in production or supply of goods or services for rental to others or for administrative purposes and are expected to be used during more than one accounting period. The residual value of an asset is the estimated amount that an enterprise would currently obtain from disposal of the asset so what is residual amount residual amount is uh, chota mota earnings scrap value that a company is earning uh, 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 from the vendor local vendor after selling few items uh, such as uh, uh, any any uh, part of the assets or anything the scrap value which we get that is residual value or at the end of its useful life, that is residual value. Useful life is the period over which an asset is expected to be available for use by an enterprise. Number of production or similar units expected to be obtained from asset by an enterprise. Then we have recognition. Cost of an item of property, plant and equipment should be recognized as an asset if and only if it is possible, probable that future economic benefits associated with the item will flow to the enterprise and the cost of item can be measured reliably. So that is recognition. A quick read till here. I hope you are comfortable with this lecture. From measurement of recognition, we'll go for next lecture. Thank you.